Hey Nerves, it's Warsaw Blani signing in, and today I have an unboxing from the cubicle.us. Alright, so let's just get right into this. Clearly, safety first. I don't want to cut anything that's in here, so I'm going to try and attempt to cut this side. All right, so let's see what we got. So I got a Moyu Lingpo. So let's try and open this thing up. Let me just focus this real quick. Awesome. Let's open this thing up. Do 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 do. Awesome. Oh man. Oh, that orange is interesting. It's really greasy. This is really fast. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay. I wasn't expecting this to be so fast. I think I already scrambled it by accident. <laughs> that was awesome. This is legitimately awesome. Um, yeah, this isn't oopsies. I didn't mean to scramble it, but it's awesome, and that's all I have to say. <laughs> you don't know, I've actually never had any type of speed cube, so this is definitely a step up. Let's see if I can try and attempt to solve this. I don't even know how to do any of these things. Uh, right, how do I flip those? Let's do this. And uh, so yeah, that is the Ling Po. I got a Mo Yu El Long, and the reason why I got this is because it was the version 3, oh, that's breaking, um, the version 3 of um, the Mo Yu Wei Long. And I'm really excited to have this cube as well. Okay, I am agreeing with people. These shades are not the nicest. Oh my gosh. I'm accidentally overshooting this. This is... I want to do a, I wanna do a solve on this. Because I actually do know how to solve a 3x3. Three three. I can hear the springiness, which is kind of a bothersome. But it is dry and crisp. And I'm actually so impressed with this. And it. I think it does have a sticker protection. Yeah, it does. I can... It's right there. It's, I want to get rid of it. I want to get rid of it. Uh, yeah. All right. So, where's that cube? I'm actually so upset I didn't solve this. Uh, I think I'm so good, but I'm not. Anyway, next cube. This is the Mo Yu. No, sorry. Shang Shao version. Sorry, Shang Shao 4x4 version 5. I don't know why I can't pronounce things. And I know that you can open the bottom of this one. I just don't want to. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy. Like, you guys have no idea how excited I am to have these cubes. I'm actually surprised how small this is to begin with. And I don't want to do anything stupid because I don't know what I'm doing. I was expecting this cube to be a lot bigger, and it's not. And I actually like it being this size. Um, quick comparison of the Mo Yu Along. It's slightly bigger. I do like this blue a lot better. What is that? What's going on with this? This is cheap plastic, isn't it? <sighs> Alright. So definitely do like that. I also got some stickers because it is the cubicle.us and you do have to get stickers. I actually created my own sticker uh, kind of complexion. So let's take a look at them. I have three sticker things going on here. And we'll just take a look at one of them. I do like the orange with this. So I have purple. Okay, so just to give an idea or whatever, so purple is going to go on the blue side, all right? Then we have pink, which is going to be the new red. We have mint. Oh, man, that mint looks so nice. And the mint is actually going to go on the uh, yellow side because I don't like yellow. Light gray because I hate white. And green, which is going to be the green, of course. And then orange, I didn't really like any oranges so I just went with a fluorescent orange if you want to know what the colors are I guess I shall tell you uh, fluorescent orange pale green light gray mint bright pink I think this is light purple but it's nice and this light purple definitely looks different in person than it does on the site so 
just keep that in mind. And I bought a set for the 4x4, and I bought a set for the 3x3. And I'm actually do liking this orange with these colors. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet, but they are nice and crisp. Cubicle business card. <laughs> um, so Cubicle, I actually really liked what they did. They, uh, this wasn't coming in, so this is the money you buy along. So they didn't have it in black, so I, I had to wait two weeks before they actually could ship it out. So I emailed them, was just like, where's my uh, shipment? And they were like, oh, so sorry, it's taking so long. So they threw in this little bag, which is kind of cute. I don't know what to do with it, but yeah. Anyway, next thing, I bought a crab nut ton of lube, and the bag is open. That doesn't look promising. And so it's 25 milligrams of weight three. Weight through silicone lube because um, I wanted to kind of do just an even, just making sure everything's good. I wanted to lube lube my Rubik's cube, um, my current Rubik's cube, and I also want to lube all of these cubes. But I didn't want to make these too fast for me because, as you may notice, they are a little bit too fast for me. Here, let me just. They're just a little bit too fast for me, so I really wanted to make sure that I could do all those things. So. Yeah, that's what I got from the cubicle. Um, as you all know, Warsaw Blonde's channel, you know, gotta make sure safety's first. Be careful. <laughs> and I'm actually so excited. I'm gonna try and solve this again on camera. We might do a speed up of this. Awesome, finished, beauty, isn't it awesome? Yeah, I'm not gonna scramble this up for a little bit cause that just took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but oh man, that's that's awesome. Look at that core, just look at it going. That is awesome. I need to stop accidentally scrambling this cause I'm just too happy to have this right now. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? I think I accidentally scrambled it again. <laughs> right. Let's go like uh, this. I'm gonna go like this. And that. Maybe not about that, but. Oh! Boom! Got it. Yay! Alright, pain rebs. So it's been a couple days, and I've had all of these cubes, and I've stickered them, lubed two of them, not one of them. And I kind of wanted to give like a first impressions before I uploaded this video. Um, and I know how to solve. Um, I don't know if you saw my Just Craft, Just for Bucks video, which that is actually tonight. This video should be uploaded Friday. Um, so that will be tonight. Hope to see you guys there. So this is the Shangsha 4x4, the Mo Yu Along, and the Mo Yu Ling Po. So. Like I said, I secured all of them. I made a huge mistake. You can see it on this one here. I made a ton of mistakes as I actually put it on the purple side instead of putting it on this side. But this is the only cube with really bad stickers. Um, well, this only side. So I think I'm going to buy another um, set of pale green stickers from the cubicle because I did mess up really bad. And it's actually bothering me. But every other side looks freaking beautiful like without a doubt it looks beautiful and I love I wasn't sure about the orange but I'm really glad I went with it because it looks really good um so let's start off with the Lingpo so the Lingpo this is so much fun to turn all I want to do is turn and it's kind of weird because sometimes I'll just pick it up because it's fun to turn like that's the only reason I mean the corner cutting I mean it's not 
it can almost it can't do line to line, but I wouldn't really expect that on a two by two. And reverse is about there. I wouldn't try to go anywhere else because I don't want to force it and I don't want to break it. Um, I did try and get into the core of this to lube it, but it did not budge whatsoever. And I don't know if you can see any stick or guck in there anywhere, but um, I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't get into it. Um, but at the same time, I was <laughs> kind of relieved because I, I didn't want to, uh, you know, damage it at all. So yeah, that's it's just fun to turn. Like honestly, uh, I know I. People are saying it's really uncontrollable, but once you know and once you're used to it, you can easily control it. And especially because it can corner cut, it really doesn't matter. Like, it's going to work. No matter what. See what I mean? Anyway, so this is just fun to turn. Um, I've picked it up a couple times the past couple days, and I've absolutely loved it. I love showing my parents, and they think they can solve it. Uh, my dad barely solved this layer here but didn't understand that these also have to be in line. But yeah, I solved it. <laughs> Takes me a while because I don't actually know any algorithms for it. I just use three by three methods. All right, so next we have the MoU um, Along. And I, sticker this last, so it has the nicest stickers in my opinion because I found the nicest um, way to sticker a cube. And I kind of want, um, my friend was saying that they wanted a video on it. So I don't know if I'll create one but I'll probably will. But I have a technique that gets rid of all of the gunk and doesn't leave any other residue because I know some people use erasers and stuff and uh, it leaves stuff behind and as much as they say it doesn't, it does. So I found a technique that allowed that not to happen and this cube just looks so amazing. Like personally being a, a girl or whatever, that looks awesome. And the other side looks pretty good too. I don't like white, so that's why. And if you're confused about my sticker selection, I don't like white, uh, I don't like black, I don't like dark gray, so I tried to find a color that would go look good, but I wanted it to be like white and black continuously, so I don't like gray, and I'm actually really happy with it. And I wanted stuff that would contrast really well, so this, this looks amazing, that's good contrasting. This is actually the one side that I'm kind of, I wish that this mint was a little darker, um, just so I could tell the difference. Now, in the middle of the night, the original shades on this cube, I could not tell the difference of anything. And now that the stickers are switched, I can tell the difference, no problem, having no problems whatsoever. This is definitely the biggest contrast. The thing I was worried about was that this orange was going to be too similar to the pink, or orange to the pink, and I was really scared that it was going to look really bad but it doesn't, so I'm definitely happy about that, and I'm not turning this properly. Um, yeah, and the corner cutting is just absolutely phenomenal, effortlessly. Like, I just have so much fun, you know, pretending to be a speed cuber on this, um, if you didn't know I'm learning. Um, and reverse is about half, so it's pretty good, and the only problem I have with this cube, and this has happened a lot, is sometimes that will happen in the middle of a solve. So I'll be doing my O2L, or O2L, what? I'll be doing uh, my OLL, and it just, no, it, it goes like this, and I'm so confused, because let's say if I have like something like this, whatever, but it will be like that, and then I'll be confused because I won't know what algorithm to use. And it's, it's not fun. So yeah. That's the only problem with it, that these pieces turn. Um, I've only, I think I've only had one popping issue with it. And other than that, I mean, it's pretty good. It does have a turret. If I can, it has like this turret thing going on here. And it's supposed to be an anti-popping mechanism. And I have to say it's been working pretty well so far. So... Ugh. And yeah. Anyway, so next one is the Shang Shao um, four by four V five. Okay, so a lot of people say that this cube is buttery smooth. I don't know if it's my cube or something, but this cube is anything but buttery smooth. I can hear the pieces, which is something that does bother me. I was hoping it'd be nice and smooth. It is crisp. And that is fine, but I've had a ton of lockup issues. I'll be in the middle of a solve and I'll be doing some sort of like 
fast algorithms and I'll be concentrating or not concentrating on this side and worrying about the next pieces I have to do and I'll just it will lock up and I won't be able to move it and I'll just be like playing with it and now all of a sudden my video or my time has just gone down by like a whole two minutes or something like that because of how stupid this takes and how much it locks and it's only like these outer layers like I've never had a lock up with you know double layers or anything um, but other than that I mean see getting lock ups now I can't <laughs> see even these wedges are just locking up like crazy and I didn't know if it was a pop or something maybe the first time it was a pop and it has gotten better with more solves I've done in it I've maybe done a hundred plus solves on this so far and I mean it's gotten better but it's debatable it's debatable I'm kind of upset with the quality of it I thought it was gonna be nice maybe it was the other Shang Shao Shang Shao version 3 apparently is a lot nicer than this but um, I'll probably be investing in another cube of 4x4 just because it's not my favorite. However, like I said, the stickers did turn out really nice, except for the green side because I messed up. But that's my own fault. It's not Shang Shao. Anyway, but these stickers look like right out of the factory quality. You know, no air bubbles. Little nick there, but other than that. And these stickers have been holding up great. Um, my friend decided to put it underwater, so... Yeah, it's still tricking on. So that's pretty good. But yeah, those are kind of my first impressions. It's like a mini review or something. Thank you guys so much for watching my cubing video. If you want to see more, please leave a like. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering why I haven't been uploading any Minecraft um, or anything as of late, it's just because uh, Juxcraft is getting a new season and that starts today. So you'll be getting a lot more Minecraft videos within the next couple uh, days, weeks, months, whatever. And so I just wanted to throw these videos out for now so I have something going up on my channel instead of nothing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and um, I have another unboxing from the cubicle coming soon. It actually shipped two days ago and I'm really excited and it has nothing to do with 2x2s. Two there is a 3x3 three three mod in it. I want you guys to guess what it is and nothing to do with 4x4 but I want you guys to guess the 3x3 mod because normally uh, if you have any sort of cube collection you will know that once you have a normal 3x3 and you get it off of like the cubicle or something you always get another one and it's modded and it's com it's in compositions I don't know if it's in world but worlds but I'd like to hear you guys' opinion so kind of guess what cubes I got um, I'll tell you right now all of them except for no I think all of them to be honest we think about this all of them are in competition um one of them just got introduced into competition that's kind of giving it away um so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for watching it's warsaw baloney signing out